Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. I've got a fresh box of plants to unpack here. If you've been following my vlogs long, you know that I have been struggling to find mums that I really like, like just the nurseries around here um, and a lot of the big box stores. Just haven't had anything special. It's just been your run of the mill, mauve, orange, and white garden mums and I've become kind of particular about my mums and wouldn't you know I got Improving Winners website and they had a glorious selection of mums that I thought looked really nice. I didn't order everything they had but I went ahead and picked out a few just some little mums that I thought would look nice tucked into some fall planters. That'll be in a vlog coming out in not too long. thought it would be nice to go ahead and do an unboxing here and just have a look at some fun mums. Just enjoy some plant time. I did already open the top of the box because this showed up last night in the mail and it was kind of chilly so I pulled it in the garage and wanted to open the lid here. Is that what you call the top of the box? The lid? I think it's just the top. You get what I'm saying. That way some light and some air could get in there. Didn't want them to be trapped in there any longer than they had to be. But I hadn't done anything else with this. This is how everything showed up. I just cut the top open. They always do a great job packing their boxes. Everything always shows up looking great so I don't have any concerns there. You can see there's just six mums in here uh, and uh, Really, I think it's just three different varieties, but they're cool looking. I'll start pulling these out. One thing I really like about Proven Winners, is they always have the tags stapled onto the packaging, which is nifty because sometimes they can get lost inside the packaging. So I just pull them off, set them aside, and make sure to get them right into the pots when I get the plants unwrapped. Oh, okay, they're not in flower yet. That is one thing. I, I'll be putting pictures up on the screen. They wait to ship their mums out until they're budded and about ready to open, but not when they've already opened, which is good. I wouldn't want them to ship them out after they've started opening because that's less time you have with the plant while it has the flowers on it. I ordered two of these. These are the Stacy Pink Garden Mums. A really cute, single-layered, pink flowers with white centers and that bright yellow center. Something you typically see on a floral mum, but you used to see it pretty commonly on garden mums, but just every, people stop selling them. So I was really happy to see that Proven Winners actually had a few different garden mums that had that fun flower on them. Okay, next up. This is another one of the Stacy's. This one's called Dazzling Orange. Looks very nice. This one's a little bit closer to opening up. This is another one of the single petaled open formed flowers that has that nice orange outline with that pretty creamy yellow in the middle that goes all the way to that really happy center just like with the other Stacy. I was really digging the Stacy mums. All right well, this one doesn't have a tag on it but that's okay. The pot's labeled. This one right here is the Autumn Sunset Garden Mum. Another orange which I tend to veer away from in fall which I know is ridiculous because fall is when we typically want more of those oranges and yellows. It just has to be the right shade of orange for me and I really liked the orange on that one. Then the very last one, you can already see its tag right here. I'm really excited about this one. And that's this Key Lime Garden Mum. Isn't it cute? It's just pretty green flowers. A really nice tone of green as well. I also don't have any flowers on them just yet so there's not much to show with them. But hopefully once I get these planted up the flowers will be more open. All of these say they'll get the same height 12 to 24 inches with the exception of the key lime. That one right there says 12 to 20 inches so that one's going to be just a smidge shorter than the others. They'll need full sun, a nice organically rich well-drained soil. I'm looking forward to being able to tuck these into various planters especially this key lime over here. The reason I was really drawn to this one, even though you know you might think why, it's just a green flower. All planters are so heavy with bold and colorful foliage with things like coleus and crotons and various grasses and uh, ornamental peppers that I thought it would be really kind of cool to have the floral accent to tuck in with those bright, bold, strong, impactful types of foliage. That green color will help soften things in those planters and it's just going to look neat because it's just it's just a cute little green flower. Those are exciting. I have two of those. I have two of the Stacy Pinks and then one of the Stacy Dazzling orange over here. These are going to be so pretty. I cannot wait for them to open up, which should really, within the next few days, the dazzling oranges over here is already starting to pop open some. But looking at the tags here, these are sold as annuals unless you're in zone 7A or up. I'm in 6B, right on the line of 6A, 6B, and the garden mums are 
typically perennial here. I have had some mums in the past that were supposed to be perennial and didn't come back. It's kind of a roll of the dice here as to whether or not they're going to be perennial. So I, I ordered two of the uh, Stacy Pinks and then two of the Key Limes so I can go ahead and tuck a couple of them in the ground. They'll be better protected in the ground during the winter time. And then I can use a couple others tossed into some fall planters to help bring some nice fun cherry color. I would have gotten two of every single one of them, but I just didn't need that many. I only needed six and they have a lot of mums. It took me a long time to narrow down which ones I was going to get. And this is what I settled on. So many beautiful, bright colored, gorgeous plants. I just wanted them all, but that's just not the way things go. Didn't need that many. I would have gotten them like, oh, now I need to do like 15 fall planters. I'm not doing that this year, only doing a few, which I'm now very excited to get done now that I have these like happy, cheery, colorful, pretty mums. I really like mums with the open center. So this is, this is what I've been looking for. Glad to have them. Okay, that's all. Just a quick little video unboxing some mums. I was just excited to get some fun little flowers in the mail and thought I'd do it as a separate video. I was going to tie this into the vlog where I do my fall planters, but I also wanted to wait a few days for these to go ahead and pop those buds open before I do those planters. So I thought, well, why not? Go ahead and put this out there now. Maybe people will see something they want, can order them from Proven Winners or find them at your local nursery. Just fun to sit back, look at some new plants and some new flowers, especially when they're so cute and happy. I just love those Stacy Pinks. I cannot wait for those to open. I can't wait for all of them to open. I'm actually really excited about mums. It's nice to be excited about mums. I haven't been that interested in them in a very long time just because it's always the same thing at the nurseries. And it's so nice to see a uh, selection and a line of mums that's just different but still has that mum uh, essence to them mum essence meaning just that they still remind me of fall Where the flowers are pink still fall very fall in my head i have that fun mounded habit and just be covered with flowers and be popping out with all the different grasses and coleus and kales and cabbages around them. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting these planters done. It's a few days. I really think like two or three days, these should start opening and I'll be able to get rolling on those. Like I mentioned, that'll be in the vlog that comes out after this video. So I hope everybody's doing well. Comment down below, tips, tricks, suggestions. What are some of your favorite mom's favorite colors? What do you do with them? How do you work them into your planters or into your gardens? I will also be posting pictures of these up on my Instagram as they start to open because again, I'm very excited. So there will probably be an update obnoxious amount of pictures coming from these flowers, especially this key lime. That key lime, I think that that's going to look really cool. Even though it's just a green flower, that's just pretty unique and fun. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, and I forgot to mention the other, there was something else in the box here along with the invoice. They have this gardener's idea book, which has lots of different planters and it tells you what you can put in them for different color combinations. I thought that was kind of fun. All the different things. Oh, there's Laura. Hey, Laura. Just fun things to draw inspiration from. Okay, time for me to go. I need to water these in and get back to work, getting my fall planters prepped so I can get those planted up. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye. Bye.